Well, 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 welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can save and load NumPy arrays. Here's how. Let's say we have an array. Array equals a NumPy array. I'm going to make my array a 2D array just to demonstrate how the shape of the array is preserved after we load it. We'll have one row that has the numbers one, two, three, and the other will have four, five, six. We'll keep it simple. Now let's say that I want to save this array. I will access NumPy as NP, then call the save function. I will pass in a name for this file. I'll call it data, but as another argument, we need to pass in our NumPy array that we want to save. Now this part isn't strictly necessary, but I like to print a confirmation message. We'll say NumPy array was saved. Now, after we save this file, we print the message that our NumPy array was saved. If you don't specify a file path, you'll likely see this file within your project folder, data.npy. This contains my NumPy array. If you would like to save this file someplace else, you could set a relative or absolute file path. Just for convenience, I'll save this to my desktop. I just need the location. I'll right-click one of these folders, go to Properties, copy this location. Within the save function, I will set that file path. Here I'm using an absolute file path. Be sure to use double backslashes. And now when I save this file, we get our confirmation message that NumPy array was saved. And on my desktop at this location, we should have that file, data.npy. Now to load a NumPy array, here's what you can do. Let's delete our array. We'll use np.load. We'll need to list a file path. Again, I'm going to paste that file location. The load function will return an array. We're going to assign it. Array equals load this file at this location. And then let's print our array. And here's my array. And you can see that the shape is maintained. I have a two-dimensional array with two rows, three columns. Here's how to save multiple NumPy arrays. We'll start with array one. Array one equals a NumPy array. We'll keep it the same as before with the numbers one, two, three. Then the next row is four, five, six. Let's create a second array of array two equals a NumPy array. How about a one dimensional array with some floating point numbers? 1.1, 2.2, 3.3. 4.4, .4, that's good enough. To save multiple NumPy arrays, we're going to access NumPy as NP, then call the save Z function. The Z means zipped. You'll use this function to save multiple NumPy arrays. It's all going to be within the same file. Let's name this file data again. The file extension is going to be NPZ. List all of the arrays you want to save in this file as additional arguments. We're going to save array one and array two. Although not necessary, I like to add a confirmation message. NumPy arrays were saved. Let's run this. NumPy arrays were saved. Now I didn't specify a file location. This file should appear within my project folder. data.npz. Remember, Z means zipped. It holds multiple NumPy arrays. If we want to save three arrays, we could do that. Let's create a third array. Array three equals np.array. What can we add? I don't know, some years. 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028. And then we would pass that as an additional argument. Array one, array two, array three. NumPy arrays were saved. Now, if you have a lot of data to work with, you could save your data as a compressed file. You would use savez underscore compressed. But I'm going to rename this as something different. Let's say data2. I don't want to overwrite our previous data file. NumPy arrays were saved. Data2 is compressed. It's going to use up less memory. It's slower to load and work with, though. 
but if you need to share it online, it's more convenient when it uses up less memory. Now here's how to load multiple NumPy arrays. We're going to assign arrays equal to access MP called the load function. Which file would we like to load? Let's load data.npz. Data.npz. Now take a look at this. If I were to print my arrays, what we're returned with is an MPZ file. You can access the individual arrays with these keys. So my file has three arrays with these given keys, array zero, array one, array two. If I need to reassign them after loading them, I could write something like this. We'll say array one equals access arrays. It's an NPZ file object at the key of array underscore zero, and then print array one. There, we have my first array, the 2D array with the numbers 1 through 6. Let's assign array 2 after loading it. Arrays at the key of array 1, then print array 2. There's my floating point numbers, and then array 3. Array 3 at the key of array 2. And there are my years. Alright everybody, and that is how to save and load NumPy arrays.